Hello guys, I am very excited to share with you this new biomedical large language model called as OpenBio LLM 70 billion. This has very rapidly become one of the best biomedical LLM in just few days. This model has already beaten a lot of great models on various benchmarks including Gemini, Meditron, Medpalm and even GPT-4 on few of the benchmarks. Overall, this I have found out the best performing LLM out there. In this video, I will show you how to get it installed locally on your Windows system. Plus, we will be testing it out on various biomedical questionnaires. Before I proceed further, I want to make sure that you understand that this is not a replacement of a human doctor. So if you really require some medical help, it is best option to go to a human doctor or to the hospital or to the clinic instead of relying on advice from a large language model, even if it has, it is as good as this open bio LLM. These models, they still make mistakes. They hallucinate, they give false information, so you cannot trust with them. So if it is a matter of your health, please don't rely on AI of any kind as we speak today. OpenBio LLM 70 billion is an advanced open source language model designed specifically for the biomedical domain. This has been developed by Sama AI Labs. This model leverages cutting edge techniques to achieve state of the art performance on a wide range of biomedical tasks. OpenBio LLM 70 billion is tailored for the unique language and knowledge requirements of the medical and life sciences fields. It was fine-tuned on vast corpus of high-quality biomedical data, enabling it to understand and generate text with domain-specific accuracy and fluency. With 70 billion parameters, OpenBio LLM 70 billion outperforms other open-source biomedical language models of similar scale. It has also demonstrated better results compared to larger proprietary and open source models like GPT-4, Gemini, Meditron 70 billion, MedPalm 1 and MedPalm 2 on biomedical benchmarks. OpenBio LLM 70 billion builds upon the powerful foundation of the MetaLama 3 70 billion instruct and that is the secret sauce. It also incorporates the DPO dataset and fine tuning recipe along with a custom diverse medical instruction dataset. And there are a lot of great things happening within the its pipeline, such as uh, policy optimization by using direct preference optimization. Also, it uses custom medical instruct dataset, and they this company is also going to release that data set. Yes, that will be amazing. So this combination of cutting edge techniques enable open bio LLM 70 billion to align with key capabilities and preferences for biomedical uh, applications. It is only available in English at the moment and its license is Meta Lama's license. Okay, enough theory. Let's launch the LM Studio tool on my Windows system and then we will get it installed. This is my local Windows system where I'm running one GPU card of 16 GB VRAM and my memory is 32 GB. If you don't know what LM Studio is, I have done various videos, so please search the channel. So launch your Open LL, Bio LLM, sorry, LM Studio, and then on the home screen, just type Open Bio LLM, press enter, and you will see that Aditya has already done GGUF format of it. On the right hand side, scroll down and then download the quantized level of your choice. I already have done with this Q6, seems good, which is just under 7 gig. Let me also show you the file. So this is the file. And then you can simply click on these three dots and load the model locally. And you can keep an eye on the resource usage on the top left. So let's wait the model to load. So you can see that the model is loaded. Let me also load the preset. So just on the right, click on this preset, scroll down and select Lama 3 because this is what it is based on. And thank you for one of the viewer who I think he the name he or she comes with the name of DJ. So who suggested that I should be using the preset. So thanks a lot. And now let's offload all the layers to the GPU. And we would need to reapply it. 
let's wait for the model to load and then we should be all set to try out various biomedical questions again this is not a health advice not a medical advice this is just for education and testing of this model so i'm asking it a 35 year old patient presents with fever headache and muscle ache what are the possible diagnoses and recommended treatments let's wait for the model there you go it says the patient is exhibiting symptoms of influenza the most likely diagnosis for this symptom is bacterial something and then it is talking about all the symptoms and other possible causes and then it is recommending to treat bacterial this with antibiotics such as penicillin and something more i have no idea what how to pronounce it um, and also supportive care amazing so it is uh, understanding symptoms it is also telling us about the causes and it is also giving us some suggestion about treatment okay let's ask it another question um what are the okay or maybe how should or maybe let me we have a family history of kidney disease how should i take care of my kidneys there you go so regular monitoring and proper maintenance can help prevent kidney related complications to take care of your kidney it is important to stay hydrated and maintain a balanced diet and include food rich in vitamin a d e fatty fish and all that stuff amazing stuff let's ask a few more questions so i'm asking it what are the potential interaction between warfarin and aspirin and what precaution precautions should be taken when um prescribing these medications there you go so it is telling us about both of these and it is also telling us about it, uh, the side effects it is essential for patients on this combination therapy to have regular checkups amazing stuff okay um i am obese should i um fast or should i walk or should i undergo liposuction okay it says fasting walking they are not suitable treatment for obesity a comprehensive management plan that include a healthy diet regular exercise behavior i think this is more important medical supervision possibly medication is typically recommended to address obesity related health and amazing let's ask it another question define and explain the term hypertension and its relevance to cardiovascular health there you go so it is describing it amazing and look at the succinct and very compact answers there you go it is also telling about normal blood pressure and all this stuff and of course i'm not a physician or anyone uh, so if you are a medical expert please also share your opinion what do you think about these responses look great to me by the way okay let's ask it more if you are under 18 just close your eyes how to increase my libido so it says it is recommended to adopt a okay okay it knows a lot about this so it says it is recommended to adopt a healthy lifestyle which includes the following ration eat well balanced meals that consist of nutrient dense foods such as fruit vegetable whole grain and then all that stuff about so no magic formula there guys sorry reduce stress by practicing mindfulness techniques like deep breathing and all that stuff okay that is good enough for me let me ask few more so this is bit of a controversial and sensitive one so i'm asking you to discuss ethical consideration surrounding end of life care and palliative medicine there is a really complex ethical issues but you see how diplomatically it is talking about it that we need to uh consider these points like patient autonomy and then beneficence and lot of other things amazing stuff amazing so let's say how to live a content happy and peaceful life embracing positivity okay okay and cultivating inner peace here are some guidelines to help you lead a satisfied existence and then it is telling us lot of good thing cultivate inner peace 
find stillness within by practicing relaxation techniques okay meditation foster positive relationship that's good take care of your health amazing stuff let me see what is the difference between depression and anxiety there you go so how good is that depression this condition is characterized by a persistent low mood decreased interest in activities fatigue lack of energy and that and what about anxiety this psychological disorder is more excessive worry fear apprehension restlessness irritability poor concentration muscle tension and panic attacks okay how to um avoid depression and anxiety there you again exercise routines balanced diet adequate sleep and all that stuff so it seems that for most of the issues uh, you need to we need to have balanced diet exercise adequate sleep that is good enough anyway you can see that this model is simply amazing of very very high quality i have covered other models too like uh, meditron and palm met but i think this model is in another league so really hats off to the creator Aditya, i guess uh, wonderful job i'll drop the link to this model in video description play along with it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching